This is my lawnmower. It's not cutting very well and it's not catching very well. So when I take it out and use it, what's happening is the grass is getting all caught up in that shoot and it's not filling up the bag. I suspect this is due to the blade being worn out. So today I'm going to share with you how I change the blade on this lawnmower. The first thing I'm going to do before I work on this is remove the batteries. There's a safety key here which disables the motor. I'm going to remove that as well. Now I'm going to get it upside down. Here's the blade of the mower and you can see here the leading edge of that blade is um, quite eroded. There's a lot of chips in there, a lot of damage. If you check out the design of this, this is quite common on lawnmowers where the blades also act as an impeller. So as the machine moves over the grass, the leading edge here comes and strikes the grass and shears it off. Uh, basically, it spins at a rapid speed and we're literally relying on the inertia of the grass wanting to stay in place for this to come and slice it off. So when the edge gets eroded and dull, like this one here is, it loses its effect. The second function of this, and you can see by design, this is actually a duct and air rushes in through the bottom here. The blades on the end have an upturned section which acts as an aerofoil. Basically, this spins around like so and acts as a large impeller and increases the air pressure on the upper side of the blades. The air is then moved through this diverging duct. As you can see, the space gets bigger and bigger and thrown out through that back door into the catcher. So by replacing this blade, I'm expecting to get a much better performance, both cutting wise and catching wise from this lawnmower. I've received a new blade here, which I'm going to install. Just take that out and compare the difference. Up the front here, you can see there's that chamfered edge there to do the cutting. There is actually a bit of a bend here in the blade. So it looks like that contour is actually manufactured deliberately that way. It's very difficult to get this wrong. There's an arrow here which shows the direction of rotation. What I'm doing here is just using a couple of screwdrivers to hold the blade while I try and crack this bolt undone. As you can see, it is very tight. This collar here is very important to make sure that that goes back on the same way. And now the old blade can be removed. We can have a closer look at the cutting edge of that blade now. And as you can see, quite eroded and chipped. Also that high pressure or the back of that impeller section there is also a little eroded. Blades can certainly get a lot more eroded than this. The thing is with an electric lawnmower compared to a petrol one, it's got a lot less torque and therefore it's easier for the mower to stall or to just simply drop in RPM and then that um, impeller system becomes less effective. And what I also did, which I forgot to mention, is just to remove the buildup of stringy grass around that 
output shaft there because that will also increase the amount of friction acting against the motors. Okay, so the collar comes back on first. You can see that it's splined to fit the shaft and not rotate. The blade on second, remember with the writing and the arrows facing you. The other collar Now doing that bolt up nice and snug. Okay, so there we have it. The blade is now changed and that mower is ready to get back to work as normal. Thanks for watching. See you next time.